Hey guys, welcome to catch up. Before getting into the video, you must subscribe my channel for new movies and TV series updates. So here is the ending explained of the movie Civil War. The movie finishes with many deaths and is set in future US in which there is a civil war and several factions inside the states. One faction, the western forces is fighting the loyalist states and has a plan to murder the president. The story follows the war photographer Joel and Sammy's surviving crew as the journey into the heart of Washington DC to join the western forces who have taken control of the White House and the president within. Lee's walls collapse as she hides from the western forces, waking the weight of Sammy's death and her own experiences. Lee, Joel and Jesse follow the breach enduring gunfire from the secret service and western forces. Jesse rolls into the hallway to get a shot while Lee jumps in front to save her. The president is captured and Joel asks him for his final words before he is killed with Jesse taking a photo. At the end of the Civil War movie, Lee and the US president pass away. Take a look on it. While Lee is passionate about saving Jesse from the terrible events, she has been so dismayed by the whole of Civil War. The movie ends with Lee willing to sacrifice herself to save Jesse from being shot by the secret service. Jesse photographs Lee's death, showing her obvious separation between a war photographer and her purpose. This is Jesse's at the start of photographic career while Lee removes the photo of Sammy's dead body from her camera at the end of hers. Lee having lost her mentor transformed her and the war zone near the White House put all things into spotlight. Lee came in to save Jesse as she got all out of his team. She had given her all for years and losing Sammy was seeing the true impact of the job. Lee threw himself in front of Jesse to make sure the new war photographer would leave on to see the western forces shoot down the president. Lee was still dissatisfied but she understood the value of the work. She also did not desire to observe Jesse's death when she was still so young. The US future is uncertain in light of the president's passing. The western forces led by California and Texas have achieved their goal of eradicating the fascist president during the civil war. However, the future remains uncertain. The president's death has called into question the US future and it is possible that California and Texas will return to their political differences. The Western forces operation positions them as a powerful party, potentially shaping the rest of the factions and the U.S. future. Nick Offerman's U.S. president is killed by soldiers, ending his three-term presidency. His final words, don't kill me please, are enough for an exclusive before being shot. It is unclear if this ends the civil war. Lee who did not live to see the president fall, accomplished her goal of reaching Washington DC and receiving a quote from the president. Civil war's ending is just ambiguous as its politics. The civil war ends with the US president's death, but the film does not reveal the country's future. It introduces viewers to an ongoing conflict without revealing the cause or timeline. Allusions to the president throwing out of the constitution are made, but the ending remains ambiguous. The director of the movie likely wanted to keep it this way as the politics of the civil war are undefined. It's confused in a way that makes sense enough to understand what happening but not enough to draw conclusions. The end of the civil war leaves viewers with more questions than answers. The video omitted information on the western forces intentions following the president's death despite their hatred of him and desire to remove him from office due to his fascist beliefs. It's uncertain what the US will look like in the future. Civil War focuses primarily on Western forces. The film primarily focuses on the Western forces who are allies against the president. The Florida alliance is briefly mentioned, but their perspectives and alliances are unclear. The ending of the film does not reveal much about the Florida alliance and the loyalist state's forces. The loyalists surrender, leaving the president undefended, likely retreated from the capital. The film's focus on the western forces is crucial in understanding the war. During the start of the civil war, 
a journalist confirmed that the Florida Alliance was preventing an insecuration in the Carolinas. The new People's Army, consisting of northern western states like Oregon, is not prominently mentioned in the narrative. The western forces' power and influence make them central to the narrative, leading to the remaining factions falling to the wayside. The True Meaning of the Civil War's Movie Ending Civil War's ending focuses on the value of photojournalism in the aftermath of wars and the awful human actions. At the beginning of the film, Lee says that surviving a war zone made her believe she was sending a warning home but then nothing much changed. And yet, the film's end emphasizes how important the recording of events is, no matter how devastating they are. While Lee may not have been able to stop any wars, the history and the events she captured on camera serve as a reminder of those that happened. The end of Civil War also leaves the audience to form their own opinions about the conflict based on the experiences and photographic documentation of Lee and her team. As a crucial component of journalism, it gives war photography significance and weight, particularly since Lee strives to perform her duties with least amount of prejudice possible. Tammy and Lee died at the end of Civil War, but their deaths imply that their work, which Joel and Jesse will carry on, was important and their deaths weren't in fruitless. That's it. Share your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about the movie and if you like the video then give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel.